Hi guys, this is Haley, and um, I want to let you guys, I want to make a tutorial, <laughs> I want to make a tutorial for you guys on uh, one of my new favorite palettes, I just ordered it, and I want to say Friday, Saturday, and it just came in yesterday, I've been really busy with like, practice and rehearsal and stuff, so the only thing I was able to do um, was test, like swatch it, um, but I haven't actually been able to use it. So, this is my new baby. Look how nice it is. The packaging is so nice. Um, it's very like minimalistic. It's not like over dramatic, but it's also like unique, you know? It's a little sorry. So, as you can tell, I've been busy using the drop powders. And this, swatch, watch how I swatch, it's so orgasmic. Da, 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 da. As you can tell, my finger has already did quite a few of these. So this is a new one. It's a lot of electrics and stuff, and it's so pretty. I'm really excited to dip more into like this yellow shade right here, um, because it's so neon, and I really haven't like. Uh, I do have this one neon shade. I think it has a hair on it. Um. I do have this one, it's like a base eyeshadow and it's by I don't know the name. Jordana Jordana. Jordana Cosmetics. Sorry. But it's like really chalky and has like it looks pigmented on your hand, but then you try to put it on your eye with a brush and it just goes everywhere. And I even try to put it off my finger and it just doesn't stick to my hand. So I'm really excited for this yellow. Hopefully this one works out more. Um, and you see like we have a gold with it, so I'm thinking maybe we can do a yellow eye with the yellow or something. Um, so yeah, just keep on watching. You guys want to see a nice electric colored eyeshadow look with this. And I got eyeshadow on my nose. <laughs> Great. This video is already going out to a start. Okay, right, now, fair warning, before we start, you guys will have to ignore this background booming it's storming here and it's great we had like our first like really nice day in like three months okay since spring started like a month since spring started and we've had our first nice day and we get returned the tornado <laughs> great so anyways so i'm gonna be dipping into this and i already have concealer and translucent powder on the eyes so then I'm going to set the eyelid with a white base just to kind of help get that color to be richer. And I will be going in. I'll be going in with my e.l.f. blending brush. It doesn't have a number on it. There's some e.l.f. brushes that do have numbers on them, like the new um, Gildan White set. But I haven't, like, there hasn't been, like, any numbers like Morphe like M355 or whatever. I'm gonna pack this color on there. Now that that white is like packed on and giving myself a white base, I'm going to go in with this off orangey red color and I'm gonna put that all over the crease of my eye. Okay, so by the way, if you guys are curious on all this booming, which I don't know if I said this in the other clip, but we'll find out when I'm editing this. Um, it's storming right now, so it's like the boomings are really loud. We actually just had a really loud one that made me have to redo this video. I redo like this clip. So, I have this red base on now. So now I'm going to dip into this purple shade right here at the bottom. These don't have names on them, by the way. We're going to dip into this purple shade. I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye and start giving my eye some depth, okay? One quick say I did one one quick thing I did have to say about this palette is that there is like fallout underneath. And the really bad thing about colors is that like it's really hard to like get out of your face. Like when it mixes it in it mixes it in with your foundation and it like leaves like this weird cast. Um so what I do recommend to kinda help 
did that is take your baking powder and like put some underneath of that area to kind of help like catch the fallout so it doesn't like staple into the foundation and the base that you have created below. You might have to rebronze your face after but it's like totally worth it if you want to wear these kind of colors. So. so now that we have our color, our transition colors, and then our corner color, but then dip in death thing color on, um, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm going to go ahead and do a half cut crease right on here, and so I can add on the brighter colors. Now that our cut crease is cut, I'm going to dip in with my flat Moda brush, or that weird bristle. I'm going to dip into the yellow color and put it onto the most inner corner of my eye. And now that the yellow is on our innermost um, corner of the eye, I'm going to dip into this neon. <laughs> I'm going to dip onto this neon orange and put that all in the middle of my eye and kind of help blend those two colors together, the pink and the yellow. And last but not least, just to kind of help finish this look up a little bit, I'm going to take this hot pink, I'm going to take this hot pink right here and kind of go like above here, okay? Okay, so this eye is actually taking me to like, continue to finish. So this is the eyeshadow part. I went ahead and put like the yellow, the orange, and the purple down on the bottom of my eye. And I'm And now that this eye is done, I'm going to go to the other eye and go ahead and finish that off. And then I'm going to go ahead and give my review on the palette and everything after, okay? See you soon. And this is the final look. I really like how the eyes turned out. They turned out really pretty. I put the Becca Pearl highlight in the inner corners. And then I topped off the lip with something a little bit more natural. And it is the Milani lipstick in the shade Dulce. It's like the matte shimmer lipstick. I really like it. It's really nice. It makes my lips look plumper. Um, the one thing I gotta say about this is that it's a little harder to like get your lips to like look even. Um, but back to the eyeshadow, which is what the main focus of this video was about. Um, I really like this eyeshadow palette. The only problem that I have is that the yellow isn't as pigmented as I expected it to be. It took me a, a lot of like packing on the color. This eye actually, this eye is more pigmented than this eye. This eye took packing. I packed way more on this side than I did on this side. And this eye is actually having a problem um, with the lid. It's like wasn't holding any of the colors the way it should have been. Um, it made it a lot harder, so I don't really know what's going on with that. I think it might have been too dried out. But whatever. But this eye, let's just focus on this eye right here. Look at how beautiful those colors blended. They blend perfectly. I had no problems with those colors. Um, yeah, I mean, I wish some of the colors were a little bit more pigmented. Like the first orange I put down, like it took me about three swatches before I actually were able to make it more pigmented. But other than that, it's a really good palette and it's definitely worth the price. I paid $26 for this and that includes shipping 10% off. Use code James <laughs> or pretty much any for your same besides mine. Um, I got 10% off and it came out to be $26 and um, you get what $26 for 32 shades that makes it like less than a dollar for each shade so it's a pretty darn it's pretty much worth your money so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I did um, it's something quick something easy to do anyone can do this because if I can you can um and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you folks on the flip side.